hi everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome today's reaction video is going to be a joiner lucas one this is for the official music video for his track snitch from the album evolution really really looking forward to getting to the joiner lucas it's been a little while since i reacted to his stuff and i've really really enjoyed uh delving into some of his music and i think the first one i think was i'm not racist and then since then i think i've reacted to a few of them um i've kind of gone down a little bit of a rabbit hole with joiner lucas <laughs> or the start of a rabbit hole anyway um so i'm looking forward to getting into more of his his stuff so without further ado let's get into this one and see what joiner has for us here we go am i boring you I'm Detective Haggerty. It's Detective Jones. I'm sure you already met him. <clears throat> My man. Look at this lovely cast of characters. Let me tell you something right now. These guys are in the next room over. And you know what they're doing? They're fucking singing. Look at you. I see you sweating. Feels like the wall's closing in on you, don't it? You feel that pressure. Just drop a dime. We're right here. We can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. But I need some information, and I need it right fucking now. Brilliant. This your motherfucking conscious, nigga, don't even do it. Don't start acting like a bitch, cause you forgot where you going. You made choices that done put you here, and now you just ruined. And I don't care about why you did it or who got you influenced. Nah, don't listen to that nigga, that ain't good advice. If you cooperate, then it's your chance to save your life. Just tell them what they want to know, and you won't pay the price. Some will call it snitching, but for me, I call it make it right. Man, fuck that make it right shit, you gotta sit to your bed. You should have thought about this shit before you did what you did. Give a fuck about your family or your bitch or your kids. You either gonna respect the code or you gonna get what you give. Who gives a fuck about the codes? No one follow codes. We both know that jail ain't the place you wanna go. Somebody fucking on your bitch, you trying to call a phone. If I was you, I'd tell them boys everything they want to know. Okay, let's think about this, let's embrace it. Let's make an illustration. Let's say you switch up with it and bitch up in and make a statement. Now niggas in jail, that nigga ain't telling, had no stitch temptations. Now you might be free, but you might get killed for giving up information. And if you don't get killed, then that's a rap. Everybody gonna know you as a rap. Won't get no respect for the rest of your life. Nobody won't know you after that. You might get run, but you never could hide. How long you hoping that'll last? For they catch you slipping and give you something that you know you had Fuck to have. Fuck that. Let's say you keep your mouth shut and take the blame for it. Now you need money on your books, ain't no one paying for it. No visitations or no letters you've been waiting for. That pussy you've been craving for. It. You may not get laid. No more, and all them niggas that you call your brothers will be ghosts. The only one who got you is your mother if you're close. A bunch of niggas screaming free you and making posts. No one show up to your trial. Niggas pray that you can smoke. Wow, okay, first impressions. I just want to say, absolutely loving this right from the start. Um, it, it's kind of literally like a little mini movie. Um, just, you know, this guy in the police station has obviously been busted for, I presume it's like drugs and maybe robbery, I don't know. But, um, just sort of like you know flashbacks to kind of how it it's all played out and led up to this point where he finds himself um being questioned being interrogated by the police and he's being told you've got to give up the names and everything that you know and your friends so-called friends are in another room and they're telling everything so you've got to say everything and he's basically got like the devil on his shoulder that's like saying you know no don't say a word don't 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 tell them anything you're going to be a snitch and then there's another one that's like saying just tell them everything just don't worry about the code just be honest tell them everything and this might save your skin basically it might get you out of trouble <laughs> so basically snitch on your friends snitch on everybody um and you know you hopefully you'll be good you might be able to come to some kind of agreement with them where you know you'll be you'll be set free and and it'll all be good but the trouble is Obviously, the other guy is sort of like saying, no, no, don't say a word because you know what's going to happen if you do, if you snitch on your friends, then, 
you know obviously they're gonna, gonna probably find you and you're gonna be dead and you'll be known as the person that ratted them out so it's it's literally like that conscience it's kind of like you know the devil and the angel on the sh on the shoulder where um he's kind of in two minds like do i snitch or do i do i tell the truth and save my own skin basically um absolutely brilliant just love the way this is this is done love the way it's acted out as well joiner lucas is is awesome for things like this um from what i've seen of his stuff so far um really really loving this um just interested to see which way he goes is he gonna snitch or is he actually gonna stay quiet Let's wait and see. <laughs> Please tell me you ain't about to take the sucker's advice. Your kids will grow up knowing that you're just a sucker for life. Lacking morals and integrity, you come with a price. And if you fold it, you should know that we ain't nothing alike. And if you leave in here tonight, you better cop a burner. Don't fuck around and be somebody ain't nobody hurt of. Now here's your choice, be a man or be somebody murdered. It's either you can take the stand or you be Bobby Schmurder. Free Bobby Schmurder. Mm, which way is he going to go? Alright man, it's, it's me, Vic, and Rico, and C Dot. You know what I mean? The operation was really Vic's plan. You know what I mean? He was a top dog. You know, Rico sort of ran with whatever Vic was doing, you know what I mean? I was involved in it, but I really wasn't I really was just, you know, was told what to do. Like I wasn't, you know what I mean? These guys was either do what, what they say or Oh no! What's up now, nigga? I want to see my lawyer. Wow. Okay, so it basically left you hanging. Like, literally, did he end up snitching? it's kind of like playing out like if i snitched this is what's going to happen it turns out that all my buddies are staying quiet and the police are actually bluffing they're telling me that everyone else is talking and giving information to basically try and make me say something and it just literally left on a cliffhanger oh my god that's so infuriating because i really wanted to see which way he was going to go but then as it turned out at the end he said um i want to see my lawyer so he's obviously thinking okay i'm not gonna say anything right now until I get legal representation and I know what my rights are and stuff. Um, absolutely brilliant. Oh, wow. That was so well acted out. Just just really, really good and just really creative. I love that Joyner Lucas does things like this with, with uh, his music videos. Um, literally like little mini movies. Absolutely awesome. Love this. So if you love this too, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with more reactions from Joyner Lucas and other artists on Thursdays and Sundays and reactions to Tom McDonald music on Tom McDonald Tuesday, every Tuesday. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. You're making it, making it brighter, right through the grave.